My name is D Dr. Daniel Bateman. I'm a geriatric psychiatrist and assistant professor of uh, psychiatry. I'm also a, a research investigator at IU Center for Aging Research and the Regan Street Institute. Neuropsychiatric symptoms of dementia, or what, what they're sometimes called behavioral and psychological symptoms of dementia, are any kind of psychiatric symptom that are caused by the underlying dementia or, or neurodegenerative disorder. So that could be depression, anxiety, psychosis or hallucinations, um, agitation, restlessness, insomnia, those sorts of things. And our goal is to actually measure the symptoms when they're occurring. Uh, a person will receive a, a small question on a tablet or a smartphone, and so this goes to the caregiver, and so they receive questions about the symptoms, and that gives us a better sense overall uh, as to what types of symptoms the patient's having. It's hard to be able to manage symptoms if you don't know, if you're not measuring them. Um, because when people come into their doctor's office, they don't want to say, oh yeah, I didn't really get any better. Um, so people will often be polite. So it's actually helpful to be able to measure symptoms and say, oh, you know, your symptoms haven't gotten any better. Um, why don't we try this or do this differently? So the actual measurement improves our treatment. Patients that are interested in research, either caregivers or persons with dementia or Alzheimer's disease, can reach out to uh, our team at the Indiana University Center for Aging Research or the Indiana Alzheimer's Disease Center.